Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jocelyn and for today's topic, I am going to discuss dual citizenship. Are there advantages or disadvantages of having dual citizenship? What are the misconceptions and what are the types of dual citizenship? There are actually two types dual citizenship by choice or dual citizenship by operation of law so i'm going to provide you different scenarios for your situation if you are a dual citizen by operation of law or can you acquire dual citizenship and this will fall under dual citizenship by choice Let's analyze this kind of dual citizenship. A child was born in the Philippines of an American citizen father and Filipino citizen mother. This is most common. So what is the type of dual citizenship? Another situation, a child was born in the USA of an American citizen father and a Filipino citizen mother. What is the type of dual citizenship? In the first situation, there is an automatic dual citizenship or citizenship or dual citizenship by operation of law for a child born in the Philippines of an American father and a Filipino mother. Now, the American citizen father must report the birth of the child, which is called the U.S. Consular Report of Birth at the U.S. Embassy. And the Filipino citizen mother must register the birth and obtain a PSA birth certificate. After doing this, the child can apply directly for a U.S. passport and a Filipino passport or Philippine passport. Another situation. A child was born in the U.S. of an American citizen father and Filipino citizen mother. The child acquires automatic dual citizenship or dual citizenship by operation of law. The parents must register the birth and the Filipino citizen mother must do the consular report of birth or report of birth at the Philippine consulate where the birth took place. The child do not need to apply for dual citizenship. The child can automatically apply for U.S. and Philippine passport. These are two situations where one can obtain automatic dual citizenship. This is also called dual citizenship by operation of law. As I've mentioned earlier, there are two types of dual citizenship. The first type is dual citizenship by choice. Who can acquire dual citizenship? If you are a natural born Filipino, you can acquire dual citizenship but there are only specific classes of natural born filipinos here are those categories let's talk about natural born filipino the question to answer is were you born before or after january 17 1973 there is a legal definition of a natural born filipino now, who is a natural-born Filipino? A natural-born Filipino, one that has a Filipino father or a Filipino mother and born after January 17 of 1973, can be naturalized as a foreign citizen and also can reacquire Filipino citizenship. Another category of a natural-born Filipino is that if you were born before January 17, 1973, of a Filipino mother or Filipino father, you must elect Philippine citizenship upon reaching the age of majority or within three years to be considered natural-born Filipino. Why is the cutoff date January 17 of 1973? This is regarding the Philippine constitution that was ratified in 1973. What if you were born before 1973 of a Filipino mother or a Filipino father. You must elect Philippine citizenship because this is provided under the law. For example, if you were born in the Philippines and you migrated abroad, you become a permanent resident and eventually you acquired foreign citizenship. Once you acquired foreign citizenship, 
you are deemed to have lost your Philippine citizenship. That is why you must reacquire Philippine citizenship to become a dual citizen. You must perform an active act, meaning you must have an oath taking to be a Filipino citizen to be considered as a dual citizen. Also, please take note that former Filipinos are not considered as dual citizens. Let's say, for example, you applied for U.S. naturalization. However, you still have your valid unexpired Philippine passport. What will happen to the Philippine passport? The Philippine passport will be voided because you already acquired foreign citizenship. Can you use it as an identification for travel purposes? Yes, you will be considered as a former Filipino citizen and you can use your Philippine passport as a form of identification. But you cannot use your Philippine passport for purposes of proving your Philippine citizenship. Because once you applied for foreign naturalization, you are deemed to have lost your Philippine citizenship. Now, if you wanted to acquire Philippine citizenship, then dual citizenship comes in. The question is, are you obligated to apply for dual citizenship? The answer is no. It's your choice to acquire dual citizenship. You can remain a foreign national or remain as a U.S. citizen. However, there are other reasons why U.S. citizens or former Filipinos abroad wanted to apply for dual citizenship. There are other special privileges for dual citizens. However, for purposes of this video, I'm going to discuss the advantages of becoming a dual citizen. If you are currently a dual citizen, can you please share in the comment section below? I would really appreciate it. There are a lot of rights and privileges that I will share with you today. First is the right to travel. Filipinos have the right to travel. Generally, Filipinos can travel as long as you have the necessary immigration requirements. During the pandemic, Filipinos have less restrictive travel protocols for quarantine and testing purposes. In addition, you can stay indefinitely in the Philippines because you are a Filipino. Another right is the right to own land and property in the Philippines. Generally, there is a prohibition to own land among foreign nationals. Another right is the right to engage in business or commerce as a Filipino. Another right is the right to practice a profession. Make sure to comply with the requirements of the appropriate body or agency. Another right is the right to vote in Philippine national elections. Let's talk about taxation for dual citizens. So what is the effect of dual citizenship on the payment of income taxes? If you are residing or living in the Philippines, what will be your tax situation if you are a dual citizen? Are you earning income from abroad or are you earning income in the Philippines? If you are a U.S. citizen or a resident alien, the rules for filing income, estate, and gift tax returns and paying estimated tax are generally the same whether you are in the U.S. or abroad. Your worldwide income is subject to U.S. income tax regardless of where you reside. So please remember this. If you are a U.S. citizen, Wherever you are in the world, you must file an income tax return. However, there are income requirements. This is one of the most important questions because a lot of Filipinos are planning to retire in the Philippines. Under RA 8424, only income derived from the Philippines are taxed by the Philippine government. In 1976, however, the Philippines and United States signed a treaty on taxation in order to avoid double taxation for Filipinos who derive income from the U.S. and for Americans who derive income from the Philippines. However, please consult the IRS regarding taxation. Are there any disadvantages of becoming a dual citizen? If you are a dual citizen and living abroad, what are your tax obligations? 
If you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thank you guys for supporting my channel. And if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.